Okay, linear functions, unit review. Um, you're writing the equation of that line right there, and it needs to be in the form of y equals blank x plus blank. It's mx plus b. So I need to find my m, I need to find my b. Now the b, when you have a graph, you want to find your b first, because the m is the slope, and the b is the y-intercept. Well, I can easily find where that crosses the y-axis, right there. So that's one, two. Okay, now I pick a point to the right, right here. Okay. Now remember what a slope is. It's rise over run. So you're going to start at this point on the left on your y-intercept and get to that point. So you have to go up or down first. You go up one, two. So positive two. And then my run is one, two, three. So two-thirds. Y equals two-thirds X plus two. Okay, my next problem is the same thing. It's a steep slope though. Okay, so Y equals blank X plus blank M B. <coughs> so my M is the slope and my B is the Y intercept. Okay. Right there's a y-intercept, it's at negative 1. So negative 1 is your y and your b. Remember, a slope is the rise over the run ratio of the graph. So I find a point to the right. Don't go up here, that's left. To the right. Right there. Okay. So from this point on the left, I go down 1, 2, 3, 4. So negative 4 is my rise. And 1 is my run. Now, if you have 1 on the bottom, you can just put negative 4. If you want to put negative 4 over 1, you can. But if it has a 1 on the bottom, it doesn't really need to be a ratio. Okay, now we are graphing equations with slope and y-intercept. Obviously, the packet folded over. I got a question. Do you have a y and an x in this equation? Okay, you do. Is the y by itself? It is. So we have our m and our b right away. Okay, this is going to be an easy one. So the slope is negative 3. You put a 1 under it so it's in ratio form. And the y intercept is plus 5. So on the y axis, I need to go to 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And from there, I go down 3 and write 1. Because it's negative, you go down 1, 2, 3, right 1, 1, 2, 3, right 1, and that's your line. Take a ruler, get off here, okay, sorry. Arrows on both ends. Number 4, negative 6x plus 3y equals 12. So do we have x? Do you have y? Yeah, you have both. Is the y by itself? No. So we do not know our mb. We do not know our slope y-intercept. So you got times 3. It's positive 3, so put a check mark. If that was a negative 3, you'd have to go make them all opposite, but it's positive. So first thing I need to do is get rid of this addition of negative 6x. So I'm going to add 6x and make a 0x so I can have a something to add 6x to. So you still have your 3 times y. You put your x down, and 0 plus 6 is 6. you got to put that before the 12. Okay, because then I divide everything by 3, and now y is by itself. So y is by itself now. So 6 divided by 3 is 2, 2x. There's my m. 12 divided by 3 is 4. There's your b, because if you don't put the, you put the 12 first, you can get the m and b mixed up. Okay, so slope is 2, that would have a 1 under it, and then the y-intercept is plus 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4. <clears throat> then up 1, four, up 2, forward 1. Okay. And then take your ruler, graph the line. Arrows on both ends, please. That's horrible looking arrows. 
Okay, next problem, x equals negative 6. Now, do we have both x and y in this equation? We don't, so we're missing the y. So missing the y means I'm not going to have an mb. I need to use the three-coordinate rule. It's not really a rule, I just made it up. It's an easy way to get it down. Okay, now the x is not missing, so that's always the same value, negative 6, because it has nothing to do with y. So y is not even here, so pick three easy numbers for y. 1, 2, 3. So this is x, this is y. So x's are all negative 6. And the y's are 1, 2, 3. So I go negative 6, 1. Negative 6, 2, negative 6, 3, and they line up vertically, which is an undefined slope. That's why you can't use M and B. Now cross out this nonsense and the directions, and we're going to make another one of these, but this time we're going to put Y. Y equals 7. Okay. So this time we do not have X and Y, so this will not be an MB setup. We are missing the X. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so I'm not missing the y, so y is constantly at 7. Now I'm missing the x, so that can be whatever, but keep pick three easy numbers. Okay, don't pick 0 because that can be confusing for some people. I mean, 1, 2, 3 is obvious. So this time it's the y that's the same. So on the y axis, this is the x, I go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And my x, I go 1, 2, 3. So I go to 1, 7, 2, 7, 3, 7, okay, arrows on both ends. Okay, 6, 7, 8, 9, you're writing the equation without the graph. You're writing an equation slope-intercept form with the following characteristics. It says m equals negative 2 thirds, remember m is the slope and then passing through 6, 5. Now, this is writing the y equals mx plus b equation. Okay, And you got to find your m and b. So this is the answer. I just got to fill in the slots. Well, my slope is negative 2 thirds. That was given to me. And then b, y equals m times x plus b. So my m is negative 2 thirds. Now for my x, y, I do the 6, 5. So 5 is y, 6 is x. b plus, so I take negative 2 thirds times 6, I got negative 4. So I add 4, add 4, 5 plus 4 is 9, 9 equals b. There's your answer. Okay, I'm, doing, I'm setting that same thing up on the next three problems. Passing through negative 1, negative 2, and 4, 8. So I need the, the M and the B. Now this time they didn't tell me the slope, so I don't know the M. So if they, I have two points, I find the M with Y minus Y, X minus X. Okay, now you want to start at your higher x coordinate. So I put 8 over 4 and then negative 2 over negative 1. Now 8 minus negative 2 is like 8 plus positive 2, that's 10. And the same with 4 minus negative 1, that becomes 5. And then I divide those and it's 2. So 2 is my m. And then my b is the y equals m times x plus b. So m is 2. Eight, you can use either one of these two. I'll use this one. 8 is y, 4 is x. b plus 2 times 4 is 8. Then we minus 8. 8 minus 8 is 0. 0 equals b. y equals 2x plus 0. Okay, next problem. Parallel to y equals negative 2x plus 5, passing through 2, 10. Now, you got to find your own M, but it's a little bit different. Okay, Now, you got to know what the word parallel means of lines. Parallel means the M's are the same. So in the equation they gave me, i got to find the M, which ain't hard because Y is by itself. 
I don't need the B, okay? But my M has to be the same as this. So if that's negative 2, then I'm going to have a negative 2M value. Then B, Y equals M times X plus B. So M negative 2. 10 is Y. And then 2 is X from over here. So 10, B plus, negative 2 times 2 is negative 4. Then you plus 4. And that takes me to 14. 14 equals B. Okay, number 9. Perpendicular to y equals negative 5x plus 3, passing through negative 15, 4. So perpendicular. Perpendicular is not the same m. That's when you flip the m and make it opposite. So I look up the m in the given equation. I don't care what the B is. Now to flip it, you have to have a fraction. Now you flip it to one-fifth. And if this is negative, mine is the opposite. So mine's a positive. So mine's one-fifth. Okay. Then B, Y equals M times X plus B. So M is one-fifth. Then 4 is Y. And negative 15 is X. So I find one fifth times negative fifteen gives me negative three. Then we add three to each side, we get seven. Seven equals b. Okay, next problem. Now I will put this on the test when you take it. These are v shapes, okay, not lines. So remember, this is when we do the vertex start because there's absolute values in the vertex finish. So vertex start is 0, 0. Now the vertex does not finish at 0, 0 because you have an operation. Now circle the absolute value itself. There's nothing in there, okay? So this x stays. Remember the inside, if it's an operation inside the absolute value, it does the opposite effect to the x, but it stays. Now, this minus 2, that's an outside, okay? If it's outside, <coughs> outside, it does the same to our y, okay? So I go to my y and minus 2, and that's negative 2. So I have to graph that point. That's my vertex. So x, y. So 0 on x is the middle. Negative 2 on y be negative 1, negative 2. You just set a point there, and then you make your V, which is, should be easy for everybody to make. Okay. Okay, arrows on both ends. Now, number 11, Y equals the absolute value of X plus 3. So, vertex start. Which is 0, 0. And then the vertex of the finish is what I need to find. That's the key, okay? And getting it on the graph correctly. Now, circle your absolute value. Now you actually have an operation. That affects the x. It's inside. It does the opposite to the x. So what's the opposite of a plus 3? It would be a negative 3. So it would be negative 3. Now, you don't have anything outside, so then the y stays, okay? So it's negative, so this is x, so go to negative 3. And then on y, 0 is just right in the middle, so we just got to go to negative 3 and stay there, okay? So now, <coughs> we have our absolute value graph. Arrows on both ends. Okay, now story problems. An online class charges students $600 for registration. Students are also charged $3.50 per credit hour. If I budgeted $6,900, how many credit hours can I take? So we're finding the hours. So go make your boxes and your XY table. So dollars and hours. The time is the X. The dollars is the Y. So per dollars per hour is three hundred and fifty.
times x. So that when we have that, this is our, so I have the m value, okay? So when I have that, I go 0, 1, 2, then block it. If I don't have it, I do 0 and block it, and then it's a pain in the butt, but this one's easy. So we start at 600, then every time I take one hour, I add 350. So that's 950. 950 plus 350 is um, 1300, I'm pretty sure. And at the end, we have to get to 6,900 6, your closing amount. We're trying to find what goes with that. So equals y. Now put a plus. Now the slope is a 350 times x. And then 600 is your starting amount. So there's your equation. 600 plus 350 times x equals y. And then we substitute 6900 for the y. Because that's where we ended at. So y, get that out of there, put 6900. Now get the x by itself, you got plus and times, you highlight times, you need to minus your 600 before you divide. So 350 times x, that's going to be 6,300, and then we divide each side by 350. So 6,300 divided by 350 is 18. Okay, so this dude took 18 hours to get to his cost of $6,900. Okay, 13. A pool is being drained of its water at a constant rate each minute. After draining for 5 minutes, 17,000 gallons remain in the pool. After, I should say draining. After draining for 10 minutes, 16,000 gallons remain in the pool. How many minutes will it take the pool to empty from its starting capacity, meaning get down to zero gallons? Okay, so you got gallons and minutes. And then make your XY table. And you also put it up here if you want. X is minutes, Y is gallons. So per gallons per minute. We don't know the gallons per minute, so you put a question mark followed by the letter M, okay? All right, so I don't go 0, 1, 2. I have to go 0. You need the 0 still, but then you fill them in side by side. So X is minutes, Y is gallons. So what do we have for minutes? Well, we've got 5 minutes and 10 minutes, okay? That's all we got. Gallons, we have 17,000, that's in the same sentence with 5, so we don't put it there. Then we also have 16,000, that's with the 10. And then we also have to get down to 0 gallons, and I'm trying to figure out how many minutes that is. Now we need a B here, okay? So when we have a B, I need to find my M value, because if Y equals MX plus B, you can't do that without the M, so I need to do my Y minus Y, X minus X. Okay, so these are my coordinates I'm dealing with from the table. So we put 10 first with 16,000 over the top of it, okay? Then after the minus, we put our 5 with its coordinate partner, 17,000. So 16,000 minus 17,000 is negative 1,000, and then 10 minus 5 is 5. Now you divide those, and it's negative 200. So now we have our M, negative 200 times X. So it's going down, but if this went zero, if this went like five, six, seven, it would add negative two hundred every time. That's what I just figured. That's what that represents. Now, the slope is negative two hundred. I told you I was going to need that because now I got to find my b. So b is found with y equals m times x plus b. So m is your negative. This is the m negative two hundred. And you go to your table, you can pick either this or this. I'll pick the 5, okay? And then Y 17,000. Okay, so 17,000 times 5. So we have 17,000 
b plus negative 200 times 5 is negative 1,000. Now, get rid of your negative 1,000 by plusing 1,000. So that takes us to 18,000 at B. Okay. Now that is not the answer to the problem. We still haven't found what that is when Y is 0. But now we well, it's easy because now I can write my equation. We have 18,000 plus negative 200 times X equals Y and then Y equals 0. So 18,000 plus negative 200 times x equals 0. Now you got plus and times, so you're going to circle the times, and you're going to minus 18,000 from 0. So, negative 18,000 divided by negative 200, and that's 90. So it's going to take 90 minutes to get down to zero. So 90 minutes, hour and a half. Okay, last problem. The table shows a revenue raised at U.S. theme parks. So in zero, it raised $5.7 billion. So they're shortened, okay? You just keep them what you see, and you can see the rest of it. Make a scatter plot from the data and draw a line of best fit. So this is X, this is Y. So we go 0 to 8. This one's a pain because you've got a lot of points to graph. Now, to label your Y axis, start. this is where you start. I put that there to help you. So you 0 you start, but then you start at 5. Then you start adding 0 0.5. So 5 plus 0 0.5 is 5.5. 5.5 plus 0 0.5 is 6. And it goes 6.5, 7, 7.5, 8, 8.5, 9, 9.5, 10, 10.5, 11. Then 11.5 you can stop. So 0, 5.7 okay, between there. 1, 6.5. 2, 7, 3, 7.9, 7 4, 8.7, 5, 9.6, 6, 9.90, okay, 7, 10.8, then 8, 11.5, and then it kind of follows a positive correlation. So you put your ruler on that point and just make a line that follows. Now we got to write an equation for the line. The line might not look like mine, and that's fine. Now I'm going to need I'm going to want three points here. Trust me, if you do three, the B is easy to find. Everybody should be picking the first one. This first one. So zero five point seven because that that's your B. Okay. Now, pick two other points. I'm going to go above the 1, and I'll go above the 5, okay? So 1, 6.5, and then 5 is with 9.6. Okay, so I'm going to go y minus y, x minus x. That finds our m. So when I'm looking at this, okay, I want to start with the higher x, okay? So 5, 9.6 on top, 5 on bottom. You always need the x on bottom. Then the 1 on bottom with the 6.5 over it. So 9.6 minus 6.5 is 3.1, and then 5 minus 1 is 4. Now take your calculator and divide that. 0 0.775, just put that. If it's a decimal, who cares? Then B is 5.7, okay? You have that. Answer, if you use Y equals MX plus B, you're wasting your pencil lead, okay? 